The latest now on our COVID-19 coverage here at 530. The race to move the $2 trillion economic relief bill to President Donald Trump's desk continues this morning as members of the House are scrambling to get back to Washington, D.C. to vote on the novel coronavirus relief bill today. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky joins us from Congressman Andy Barr's office here in Lexington with more on this coronavirus coverage. Chris, good morning. Representatives from all over the country have been rushing back to D.C. to try to make it in time for this historic vote that is set to happen this morning. We caught up with Congressman Andy Barr earlier this week, who expressed the importance of anyone who can travel to the Capitol to do so for this vote. He said for those who can't make the trip, they should be offered the option to express how they would have voted. Now the vote could be delayed if at least 216 members of the House don't show up by 9 a.m. this morning. The $2.2 trillion emergency coronavirus relief package includes assistance for hospitals, small businesses, major corporate loans, and state and local governments. You can also expect to see assistance with unemployment benefits and $1,200 checks sent by mail or direct deposit to individuals making less than $75,000 a year. Those direct payments double to $2,400 for couples who make less than 150,000 a year with an additional $500 for every child. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi says she anticipates strong bipartisan passage of the package and Andy Barr told us that he agrees. We take some pride in the fact that, as I said earlier, uh, the Dem congressional Democrats in the Senate and in the House were able to flip this over from corporate trickle-down Republican version to bubble up worker first, families first legislation. This economic stimulus package is a historic, heroic, bold and aggressive effort to give a lifeline to the U.S. economy. Though several members of the House are concerned about traveling amid the coronavirus, like Congressman Andy Barr, many say it is important that they are in D.C. in case a congressman asks for a quorum to be held or told that Kentucky Representative Thomas Massey may object a voice vote. If that is the case, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi says that she will do a roll call vote today. Chris, it seems it is a priority for many that this bill passes through the House as quickly as possible.